Hello, I am George Mendoza, Superintendent of the Grant School District. During the 23-24 school year, I am pleased to bring to you our Work in Action segments, which highlight construction, academic programs, and learning opportunities for students in our school district. The LaGrand School Board and I welcome you to this week's segment. Hello, LaGrand School District. My name is George Mendoza, Superintendent LaGrand, and I'm here with Kathy Nickerson, who's a seventh and eighth grade science teacher. Today, we're going to focus on the greenhouse. And uh, Kathy, will you just talk to us about what inspired you to uh, start this greenhouse and how many years you've been doing this? And just talk about uh, the work that takes place. Well, I didn't start the greenhouse. It's okay. a long standing tradition here at LaGrand Middle School. I'm thinking that our first house went up about 30 years ago and we ran with that first greenhouse until about two years ago and we had a second smaller one that was more like this style of greenhouse where we were able to put the, the tables in and use a classroom space mm -hmm. and then you needed the real estate for the Wildcat Center <laughs> so we did a move up here and you've upgraded us into this one facility but it's a really important part of our spring curriculum and I think it's a really great life skills for kids mm -hmm. and um, it's really good to be out of the classroom in the spring doing some real tasks. Nice. Yeah. So what, what are the things that you you would say that you think kids learn most out of this um, on a day-to-day -day basis? So um, as part of 6th, 7th, 8th grade science, we do everything from talking about how um, organisms reproduce to growth and development, um, all characteristics of living things. And so these are all applied experiences. We're also clearly a STEM project. We do science, engineering, math, and technology every day when we are out here. We are problem solving, we are adapting, we have equipment that we're using. Um, I'm, we're doing the math to figure out how much bench space we need for all the products of the plants that germinated and grew that year. We're doing all of those skills. I'm also, the last couple of years, really focused on the fact that when we come out here, I'm like their boss. I am teaching them a job skill that real people get paid, real adults get paid, real wages for. Um, then we get into our work team groups. Everybody's responsible for our final product. We talk about our end goal customers and what they need and expect and the importance of providing a nice and yeah. well done finished product. Wow. Talk to me about the, uh, the plant sale part. It's pretty amazing. So we have a short sale mm -hmm. in May on the 9th from 8 to 5 on Friday, May 10th, and Saturday, um, May 11th. We'll do a half day that day. We have students out here that help our public. They are assigned, they apply to be a worker out here. And in the past, they've had to fill out an application. They needed to get a reference from someone. Mm -hmm and then we put them into their work positions. They have an assigned role. We have kids who help customers out with their purchases. We have kids who are tallying up the purchases and creating the, the purchase slip. And we have kids who are working to restock and help customers with plants. Mm -hmm. They can talk pretty confidently about how to uh, take care of hanging baskets. And they can talk about planting tomatoes and how that's different than maybe planting a pepper. Yeah. Mrs. Nickerson, I'm very thankful for all that you do for us and running the greenhouse and the plant cells. Everything mm -hmm. that you do to me makes a very big difference for our community. Thank you. Yeah.